Over 8 million tons of flexible packaging are produced annually in Europe. Packaged items range from snacks, toilet paper to kitchen paper rolls, in which the manufacturing process involves a large amount of waste. Waste and redundant stock generated in Europe by companies for flexible packaging films constitute 6% of production. Therefore, enterprises are generating more than 500,000 tons of post-industrial waste. These residues constitute an environmental challenge. The best solution to avoid going to landfill is the recycling. However, this solution is complex for this type of product. Printed films and inks present certain issues during the recycling process so they can be used again in high-value added products. Currently, the recycling material from printed films is used exclusively in low-value products such as garbage bags, irrigation pipes and street furniture such as litter bins. In response to this problem, the CLIP project has been developed, an RTD project funded by the European Commission under the 7th Framework Program, in which 10 organizations from Spain, Germany, United Kingdom and Slovenia have participated in this research. Three technology centers, five enterprises and two large companies that span the entire product value chain, including processors of thermoplastic materials, manufacturers of plastic extraction equipment, printing companies and lamination films, packaging manufacturers, recyclers and packaging companies in the food sector which act as end users. A consortium of organizations with a common goal to develop a new technology for recycling plastic printed film. The aim of the project is to develop a recycling technology for reducing waste uh, thermoplastic printed films so that we are able to obtain a high quality compound that can be reused for high value applications like extruded film, sheet or injection molded parts. This consortium has faced several challenges along the project. How to obtain a recycling material with low volatile organic components? How to remove the smell in the material? How to get a material with sufficient quality for use in high value added applications? To meet these challenges, Clip Project has developed a new technology based on the incorporation of supercritical CO2 to the extraction process. Supercritical CO2 uh, helps to extract the organic components that cause uh, unpleasant odors and other contaminants in the material, in the compound. In CLIP we developed a setup of the extrusion barrel as well as the screw which allows the incorporation of um, CO2. After the insertion of the CO2 we mix the CO2 with the polymer and after we have achieved a quite perfect mixture um, we come to a degassing zone in which we evaporate the CO2. The other main aspect in the development of the technology has been the increased ability of degassing. It's fast to remove the, all the volatile components so that at the end we can obtain an unformed compound free of gases, volatiles that can affect the quality of the extruded or injection molded parts. Then we have two different processing options. We can either extract the CO2 in liquid form or we can extract CO2 in gases form. In CLIP we mainly use the later because this is economically a more interesting process and also technologically easier to apply to different processing equipment. Throughout the project we've evaluated different advanced extraction technologies. Twin screw, single screw tandem and multi-rotation system. These technologies allow the integration of supercritical CO2 gas injection systems, microfiltration and high-performance degassing. After two years of research, we have demonstrated the technical feasibility of the new recycling technologies 
allowing them to be up to scale with the plastic production processes and offer them a better way to recover post-industrial waste and reduce raw material consumption. Through these innovative technologies, companies can get a better quality control on recycling material that is further used in the production of high-value products. Film and sheets for packaging, injection molded products for applications in the automotive, electric, electronic devices. The project is also when improvements over the current processes used that involve the usage of solvents, which have negative effects on the workers' health and the environment. We have drastically reduced emission levels. In total, we can say that um, depending on the value that we look on, we have reduction rates by the factor of three up to the factor of five, six, depending on the individual material. Because clip technology has removed a substantial amount of volatiles from uh, these materials, their characteristics in terms of smell is drastically lower. Besides the social and environmental contribution, this project nevertheless offers a range of market opportunities in the plastic sector through the improved change value of the packaging industry. This technology is interesting for many manufacturers and recyclers. We can recycle materials that were not recyclable up to now and therefore we can offer our services to higher quality customers. The filmmakers also benefit from this development. Clip will help Skymark to provide more environmentally friendly solutions to our customers' packaging needs in the future. Clip lets companies offer better recycling material while saving costs. The project opens a new way of business. We will be able to sell a more environmentally friendly product at a cost no higher than the current one. Other beneficiaries of this project are packers that will be able to offer a product tailored to the growing concept between distributors based on green marketing. We think that this product will have a good market entry. It is a sales pitch for the growing sector of environmentally concerned companies. CLIP is consequently another example of research and innovation that help us move forward to a better environmental future.